Hi gang, this time around the questions come from YouTube subscriber Superfiver. Thanks, Superfiver. Uh, he or she asked uh, really two questions that are very closely related. The questions are, what's the balance between following your passion and economics? Or how do you really know if you found your calling or passion? And of course, the cheap shot answer is, if you have to ask, maybe you're not there yet. I mean, really, when you find something that you're really excited about, you know, just like you know you're alive. But I have to say that getting to that point of recognition takes a lot of unlearning and a lot of, uh, of taking some of the layers away, some of the emotional baggage and, and all that kind of stuff. So really what we're talking about is a process of, of archaeology. You build up to it. Uh, start where you are instead of thinking about where you're not. I mean, there's no accidents. So whatever's going, around, going on around you right now is there for some kind of a reason. There's something that it can teach you and something that you can teach the people around you in your situation. Let me put that another way. You'll know that you're on the right track when you stop being so interested in a destination and you start being so on fire about whatever process you're on that all you want to do is keep walking the path. It's okay to be in the middle of something. Be less interested in the destination and more interested in the journey. I do a lot of mentoring work and one of the people that I, I do mentoring work with said, you know, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my whole life, but I do know that, that I really love being a coach for kids uh, soccer. And I can't imagine that that's supposed to be a career or anything like that, but I know that when I make time for it, even if it doesn't make me money and it doesn't advance my big life goals or anything, it makes me happy. And I said, that's what you're supposed to be doing right now. It's not about finding one thing that's going to change the universe. Instead, it's about building a, a habit of doing things that have meaning to you. Everybody is here to do different things. And so life becomes better, not when everybody's doing these big giant things, when everyone's solving world hunger and everyone's curing cancer and stuff like that. Instead, what I want is a world made out of people who are addicted to doing things that have meaning for them. So find whatever little thing is going on in front of you right now that you can connect with. Something that makes you happy. It doesn't matter if it has any other meaning. It doesn't matter if it will make you money. It doesn't matter if anybody else thinks it's okay. It doesn't matter if it's one minute or one hour a day. Find something that you can connect with. Because what you're really doing is building the habit of meaning. I want you to get greedy for things that feel good on that level. Because as you do, you'll get addicted to meaning and you'll get allergic to things that waste your time. And those two forces are really powerful. They will change you. More and more, you'll start giving yourself to things that are bigger and bigger. More and more, you'll get to where those little moments of, of meaning and connection get bigger and bigger and closer and closer together. And you know what? Sooner or later, one or more of those things will turn into money. One or more of those things will lead you to true love or your dream job or paying the bills or whatever it is that you're looking for. But like I said, the destination doesn't matter. Let's all get really good at walking that road. Let us get addicted to meaning and allergic to a waste of time and watch how that makes a difference in the world. Once again, thanks for your questions and keep them coming and tell your friends about it. I'm looking for subscribers. I'm looking for interest and I love what's happening here. Thanks for playing.